Welcome to Touch Edit's tutorial series. When using Touch Edit, the media is first imported into the iPad and then loaded into your project. Remember, the iPad works with video that is either H.264, MPEG-4, or Motion JPEGs. The resolution can go up to 1080p. Let's talk about the ways media is loaded into Touch Edit. Let's start with the simplest one. Photos is where the videos that you shoot with the iPad's built-in camera get stored. It is also a good place to store videos that are from your phone or from the internet. The one caveat with photos is that it strips away the time code, which is very problematic if you're going to be working with other NLEs. But for native video, it is perfectly fine. Let's now look at iTunes sharing. iTunes sharing is used in conjunction with your computer by syncing the iPad with the computer. You attach the iPad to the computer via USB or you can use Wi-Fi that is on the same network. Open iTunes. Select the iPad. Select Apps in the iPad's menu. Now find Touch Edit in the list of apps below. Select it and the window to its right is where you will load in the media. Once you put the media in this window, it will load into the iPad attached directly to Touch Edit as if it was part of the app itself. No other app will be able to see it iTunes sharing is one of the ways to load footage that you wish to maintain metadata. Most importantly, clip name and timecode. Let's look at Dropbox. Dropbox is a cloud-based service that is very easy to use. Your media is stored in the cloud and then loaded directly into TouchEdit. The media also maintains its metadata, including clip name and timecode, so the resulting sequences can be used later by other NLEs. It is a great way to remotely collaborate because footage can be placed in Dropbox as needed, allowing the Touch Edit user the freedom to initiate editing anywhere. In order to use Dropbox to connect to Touch Edit, it must have a folder called Apps at the top level. Inside this folder must be a folder called Touch Edit. Inside this folder is where the media is stored. Be sure to check out the tutorial on loading media into the project.